Hi gang, here's a tool I made for finding out year-round shading. Before doing any type of solar system, solar hot air, solar thermal, photovoltaic, and even a permanent solar cooker, you need to find out how much shade you're going to get from the surrounding objects. If there's too much shade, then you'll need to put your solar application somewhere else. And that's why I made this tool, to find out my year-round shading. The data gathered from this tool is used to fill in the sun chart. The sun chart shows the path of the sun through the sky in your area for every day of the year. This line represents the path of the sun on December 21st, when the sun is lowest in the sky. This is January 21st, and so on up to June 21st, when the sun is at its highest. The hours of the day are represented by these lines. The data from this tool is overlaid onto the sun chart, making an outline of all the objects that might shade the sun. Here's a resulting outline for objects surrounding where I was thinking of trying some year-round gardening. And here's a panorama of the surrounding objects. You can see that the color-coded line overlaps where the sun will sometimes be. In other words, those objects shade the sun. You can also see that for December and January, those objects will be shading the sun most of the time. So this is a lousy location for those times of the year. Each sun chart is specific to your particular location. There's a link at the end of this video to a web page with all these details, including where you can download your own sun chart. There's also a link in the description to this video. How do you produce the data for the sun chart to make your own outline? Across the horizontal axis of this chart is something called the azimuth, and across the vertical axis is the elevation. So you need to find out the azimuth and elevation for the outline of any objects that may cause shading. To start with, here's where I was thinking of putting my solar application. What is the azimuth? The azimuth is an angle laid out flat on the ground. Zero degrees is to the north, 90 degrees is east, 180 degrees is south, and 270 is west. So if you want to know the azimuth of this part of this tree here, it's simply 112 degrees. You then find 112 degrees on the horizontal axis of the sun chart. What is the elevation? The elevation is the angle of the object measured from the ground up. Zero degrees is the ground, and 90 degrees is straight up. So for that same part of the tree, the elevation is 32 degrees. You then find 32 degrees on the vertical axis of the sun chart, where it meets the azimuth, which it previously found, is where you put a mark representing that part of the tree. And looking at the location again, you can clearly see that these two values uniquely locate that part of the tree from where the solar application was going to be. The azimuth identifying the horizontal position and the elevation identifying the vertical. Now let's look at the tool for getting these azimuth and elevation values and actually fill in a sun chart. Okay, so this is where I want to do my checking. And this is the surroundings. West, east, so, now I put this here. Next thing I have to do is line this up with true south. To do that, I first put the compass right here. Now you see there's a true south line here. So I'm going to take the S and N on the compass here. Just line them up on that line. Now the magnetic needle, the needle here is pointing to south over here, but that's magnetic south. And I know my, my true south is 14 degrees. Uh, that way. Um, so I'm going to rotate the compass in that direction until the degree mark right here is 14 degrees away from the end. Which is right about there. And now I'll just put some bricks on there to hold it in place. So now it won't move and I can move this along freely. Don't need that anymore. Okay, that's step one. So here's my elevation and um, azimuth chart. Now the azimuth is this direction right here. And uh, on, the, on here it's the inner numbers right here. The elevation, I'm going to use this right here. So all I do for the elevation is I line this up with something and sight it, like so. And then I read the elevation right here. And the elevation is the outer numbers. So that one is about oops, 28 degrees or so. So what I do is I mark on the, S, on the elevation here, I go to 28 degrees, make a mark. And then I find the azimuth here, which is the inner one once again. So that's about 
182, 183. So I go to 28 by 183 and I put a little dot and that represents that place. If on the other hand you don't want to um, make a fancy all combined one, then again you find out where True South is, line it up, and then simply find your azimuth this way, and then separately Go around and note your elevation for everything. To make your own tool, you'll need to make an azimuth gauge and an elevation gauge. You can find templates for these, as well as a link to where to find a sun chart for your location on this web page. The complete link is given in the description for this video. Well, thanks for watching. You can find more videos on my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org. You'll find many other solar-related videos, especially in the Renewable Energy playlist. You'll also find a lot of science and tech videos and other things that I've built. And don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like these videos. Bye for now.